Hey YouTube, it's Tams, the Wicked Witch. Welcome back to my channel. So, gonna do something a little bit different today. Um, as you know, we've just had Witch Casket for February 2020, and in Witch Casket, we got a lovely pendulum cloth to use as a pendulum board, and we also got a rose quartz pendulum. So, I work with pendulum a lot, and I decided maybe I'd do a quick video and just show you how pendulum works. We can work with this cloth and this pendulum from Witch Casket and anybody that obviously has, has received their box and perhaps isn't too sure what to do or is a bit worried about using it, I thought this video might be useful to them. So I'm gonna change, um, I'm gonna change down to face the table. because I am standing up at an angle because we're actually at my dining room table. So I'm gonna face down so that you can see um, what we're doing. Hopefully the incense smoke will calm down. So hang on a sec. So. Hopefully, we can line up and get a good view here. So, and my hand will be here. Maybe we need to go up a little bit. Okie dokie. So this, so you won't be able to see my head, but that's probably for the best. Um, I'm going to move the incense to the back because we're getting smoked out. So, this is my table where my working altar my workings happen and at the table i've got three crow feathers for the morrigan i have my amethyst my rose quartz and my labradorite and they're all things that i work with with morrigan reason morrigan is associated at the table whenever i do any kind of divination i always like to protect the area i'm working in and um, if we are going to be connecting with anything to do with spirit world or anything like that, I do like to have a protection circle around myself and around my home. And that's just my um, preference. So that's, you know, something that I do and have always done. So with a pendulum, they come in many shapes and sizes. This is obviously the one that we got from Witch Casket. It's rose quartz. Um, it's absolutely lovely. Luckily, it's only short as well, because um, that means you'll be able to see me holding it. And um, you can make your own board, but obviously we got this lovely one in Witch Casket, which is brilliant. So the, the, the actual cloth itself says, yes, rephrase, no, maybe, yes, rephrase, no, maybe. So the middle is where the pendulum, when it's hanging, rests, okay? That's where it rests. And then obviously you're asking it questions and it might go to rephrase, it might go to yes, it might go to no, it might go to maybe. If it stays in the middle, it usually means it doesn't want to answer or it doesn't know. You do not have to be psychic to use um, pendulum and you do not have to be a witch. So what you do have to have though is respect for the fact that even though many people say that using a pendulum is basically your own energy contacting with your higher self, which is where the information is coming from, which I do agree with, but I personally agree that it's your energy as the person using your higher self then con contacting spirit. And that is what I believe. Now, you might not believe that, and that's fine. Everybody's got their different views on witchcraft and occultism and for divination this is what i believe um you know it's like people that don't respect using a ouija board i'm sorry but when you are working with spirit from your higher self upwards and working with spirit i don't care what anybody says you need to be careful because you can open portholes you can open portals or vortexes and you can let through something that maybe you didn't want to so if you are going to be contacting with this divination um, cloth or board, um, you know, perhaps, perhaps you want to contact the spirit world or animal spirits, or you want to contact your um, your personal spirit guides um, or deity, um, then, you know, I like to just cover myself and do a little protection around myself and around the home. And that's just my personal preference. So if you don't agree with me, that's fine, but that's just what I like to do. So. What I would do is I would take my sage smudge just to start with and I would smudge, smudge the area, smudge the area that we're working in. And obviously we are just going to do a pentagram in the air 
and I'm going to be quiet now and I'm just going to bless this area and ask for protection from my goddesses and gods and guides whilst we work perhaps within the spirit realm or whatever it is we're going to be doing today okay so right okay so I've got my protection crystals I've got my crow feathers I have many many sticks of cinnamon over here which cinnamon's everywhere in my house um we've got some incense on and in case you wondered what this is it's actually a light and it's supposed to be a full moon I just think it's pretty cool so that's why that's there okie dokie so pendulum I have saged my pendulum already when you take your pendulum from its box if you can sage if you can hold it if you can start to feel connection with it and then you will want to tune your pendulum to yourself you want to tune your pendulum to this board and your thinking because that's what we're gonna use because lots of boards and things we use are different you may have been just using a yes and no on a piece of paper which might look just something like this so we're going to show the the, the pendulum what it is we have so holding the pendulum in your thumb and index finger above the middle like this and obviously don't worry if your hand wobbles a bit because all hands wobble always using the left personally this is a personal preference i always use the left because this is the this is where the body goes in and flows around with the bloodline so this is my energy hand um even though I'm right-handed, this is the hand that I use for this. And there's probably a correct word in for that, but I can't think of it now. So maybe I'll add it at the bottom later when I think of it. So we ask the pendulum. Put the pendulum still. There we go. You can see that on there. Yep, so the pendulum's pretty still. Pendulum, can you see yes on this cloth? And you'll notice that it's starting to go towards yes. My hand is still. Please swing it a little faster for us so that the camera can pick it up. Thank you, pendulum. Now, can you see it's going towards yes? Please stop, pendulum. Pendulum. Now that you're back in the centre, can you please show us no? on the cloth and as you can see it takes a little while to adjust itself and now it's showing us oh it's showing us no on both sides so there is no and there is no here as well so i wobbled my hands then sorry showing you the no sorry pendulum that's me wobbling my hand i'm trying to talk to the camera as well so and don't be embarrassed to talk to the pendulum i'm chatting away to it like it's my friend because it's part of me now, it belongs to me and it's connected with me. So that's how I feel about my divination tools. Pendulum, is my name Tams? And as you can see, it's flicking back and forward onto the yeses. My hand is still, and here is the yes here, and also the yes over here. Pendulum, Am I going to get a new job? Now it's shaking and it's wibbling in the middle. And I always feel with this, it's I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it's going to maybe. It's going to maybe now. Can you see it flicking over to maybe? So, thank you, Pendulum. So hopefully you can see where we're going with this. So you can ask all sorts of questions if you was working with spirit guides or if you was working with deity or spirits, loved ones who have passed, pets who have passed. You wanted to ask questions, you could ask all sorts of questions. Don't be disrespectful. Um, you know, you can ask for help from spirit guides with certain things. Don't ask every, don't rely on this for every question. At the end of the day, we've got to make our own choices in this world, haven't we? So don't don't start to rely on this as a, every single day I've got to ask this and I've got to ask this. No, come on. We all know that this is just kind of a little helping hand. Um, 
I'm going to just say now, one of my spirit guides, um, when I'm working with Egyptian, anything Egyptian is Anubis. He obviously is a, he's an Egyptian god, but for me, he is a spirit guide when I'm working with um, when I'm working with anything to do with um, Egyptian magic or I'm in a ritual, in an, doing an Egyptian ritual um, for a certain goddess and god, which is Nuit and Set, and Anubis is the guide. So any information that I need, if it's something to do with meditation or something like that, um, I will ask Anubis. So let's just ask very nicely, um, and I know he won't mind, uh, Anubis. I'm asking you if you if you don't mind, Pendulum, please ask Anubis, is he here with us today? So it's shaking quite violently in the middle. My hand is still, as you can see, and we are going to yes. Pendulum, could you go a little bit faster for me and a little bit wider? And there you go. My hand is dead still and Pendulum is going mad. Pendulum, would you stop? Thank you so much. Pendulum, would you spin round in a circle for me? Just one more, just one more for the camera. I'm not asking for parlor tricks. I just want to show the camera the power of the pendulum and how, how awesome you've been today. So as you can see, my hand is still and I'm going to ask if the pendulum can just circle. Just circle round, circle round and round and maybe get faster. Watch my hand, it's completely still. We are going round and round and I'm going to ask it to get a little bit quicker a little bit quicker please really quick if you can thank you so much thank you Anubis for joining us thank you Pendulum you've been fantastic and please come to a stop in the middle please come to a stop in the middle and there you go so thank you Pendulum don't be embarrassed to talk to your Pendulum <laughs> I'm chatting away to mine and that's absolutely fine. So back, right, you can ask your pendulum lots of things and um, you can speak to past, people who have passed over, you can speak to the world of spirit, be respectful, don't take the piss with the world of spirit. Please make sure you use sage, sage your area, do your protection, whatever spiritual um, path you walk, you know, um, please make sure and people say no 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 these are just and it's your energy and you know no one's connecting to anything else it's just scientific and all yeah okay if you believe that that's fine but this is what I believe okay so I'm just saying be careful when you are connecting in with other with other spirit spirit worlds um, and lands of spirit and worlds of spirit and other realms don't take the piss because you don't know you don't know what's, um, we don't fully understand it is the word. We don't fully understand it, do we? So be respectful and cover, cover, cover your ass, <laughs> cover your asses, do your protection and yeah, have fun with it because it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant divination tool, really good for getting answers. Don't, you know, take the piss and do it all the time because you need to make your own decisions in life, but it is really useful. You know, you can ask it many things. Um, so just remember when you first get it sage hold it because obviously it's been in a box um, you want to put your intentions into it and your feelings into it you want to get to know it and then you want to train it to this board because if you have been working like I showed you the paper with just the yes and no it's kind of it needs to train itself so it needs to know where all the things are on the board and you may find when you first start it goes to the wrong thing you might have to turn it round because sometimes they like to go a certain way they like yes to be there no to be there if yours is the wrong way around just turn the turn the thing round um because that's where pendulum is comfortable with and that's you know and that's where it wants to work so and um if you ever get it and it doesn't move don't be offended it, it doesn't feel like doing it that day so I hope this video was um, useful. I'm sorry about the horrendous shot of my head and the awful tattoo, which hasn't been covered yet because we're in the middle of a sleeve. So please give us a thumbs up. Please give us a subscribe if you like this kind of thing. Any comments, please put them below. Um, and yeah, hope you like the video. See you all soon. Have fun. Ta-da.